Hey, this is Alexey, and I'm here doing a tutorial about particles in Cinema 4D. This is going to be like basic stuff. You want stuff emitting from like a surface or from you know some object just coming up of his head. Basically, Mario is doing some stuff with some musical notes, and so I decided to make a quick tutorial on how we do this. I'm assuming you're not using X particles because you know that's just going to go with the base tool set of Cinema 4D. So first things first is we have the particles. It's an emitter. And let's rotate this guy so he's pointing up. Hold the shift key to snap him to oops, shift key to snap him to uh, ten increments and press play. Okay, it's going down, so it's <laughs> rotated back up. Okay, so they're going up. Now do something simple, just put a sphere, let's make it small enough. We just put it into the particle emitter and here we press show objects and press play. And there you have it. that's what you got. You got particles going up. Now, um, if we more, and more particles, we can obviously just crank this up. We'll have more particles coming up. But be careful here because there's birth rate renderer, so you have to change that to match that up as well. And you can make end scale for some, for example, zero. And if you make the lifetime like 50 frames, then you can see by the 50th frame they're already zero. So it's like, what are these things? Let's put this like 150 frames. Now the problem is they still kind of appear very instantly here, and they don't. Um, they don't, what's the word, <laughs> I forgot, anyway. So they appear kind of spontaneously and you have pretty little control over the size and stuff. So a different fun thing you can do is you can actually go to MoGraph and you can make cloner and you can set it to object and put the emitter in there and then put the sphere in the cloner. And now you have full control over the spheres. Let's make the speed a bit slower, like 60. I think 10 is enough here. And they're dying off every But we actually don't need them to have such a low lifetime. We can just make them keep going now. Because we're going to be controlling this stuff with MoGraph. So now that we have a cloner, we can do all the usual MoGraph stuff with it. So we can, for example, make a random effector, and there'll be different size. Um, if you want the random size to change as it moves, you can change the effector here from random to noise. <laughs> they're doing this. Maybe turbulence will work better, and maybe animation speed like one. So you have them moving up and down. We can also have this as an effect, so let's delete this guy. We can also do fall off, so let's do plane effector. And right now, the plane effector is just doing a hundred moves. Let's make that to zero, turn it off actually. And let's change the scale to uniform scale to minus one. Now they all disappeared. Um, let's put fall off and make this a box. Box, 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 box. As you can see, they appear and they disappear, but that's the wrong thing, so let's invert it. There you go, now you have particles appearing and disappearing nice and smoothly. If you hide the box, then it's just like boom, boom. So you have this nice kind of effect. And if you don't want them all to appear at the same si time, you can add a random effector, but turn off the scale and just drag the weight transform, it's like 49, and make sure it's above the plane effector. And now you can see they're growing at different rates. And they have a little bubble effect using the part using the uh, Cinema 40 emitter and MoGraph. And you can obviously apply planes. You can even apply dynamics to this MoGraph cloner now. Like if you want, you can go simulation and dynamics and no. Oh, I got to right click on it. But um, where is it? Simulation rigged body. Boom, and they'll fall. So maybe let's add a little plane. And let's make the plane simulation glider buddy. And press play. Doink, doink, doink. That's not functional at all. Let's move the plane up here. Oops, not the plane. The emitter. <laughs> okay, so the problem here right now is it's kind of building one big dynamics object. So let's switch this to. Um, inherit tag, apply tag to children and individual top level or all. There you go. So, and you can see now they're still grabbing the size from here because they're disappearing over time because the particles first move through here and then the dynamics is applied to them, which is rather interesting. I was kind of thinking it'd be the other way around. But anyway, there we go. We'll turn off this. Yeah, and they don't scale, so it's just 
because they get they still think they're here first and then they become dynamic yeah so there you go next part i'll show you how to do this without the emitter object with a bit more control and a bit more places to emit stuff from